Over the past number of weeks, we have been talking about a special giving opportunity that's going to be happening next week, Sunday, October the 9th. That's Thanksgiving Sunday. And today, right now, we want to take just a few minutes and show you the four projects that we feel strongly God is calling us to. So let's take a look at those. The first project that we want to talk about is soundproofing, or maybe better, we should just call it echo proofing. Right now, if you are in our in-person gathering, uh, why don't you turn around and just have a look right over there at that back corner. Do you see how the acoustic panels stop and then there's just bare cinder block? Well, right now, as I'm speaking and as Chris is teaching and as the band is going on Sunday mornings, there is a lot of echo right back there. And we wanna knock that down with some acoustic panels. That's a project that needs to happen. And so this would be part of that. Now, for those of you who are joining us online, well, let's take a, just a second and Evan, can you turn off the key real quick? So this is the room where we do all the recording. The green screen right back here. We can put any kind of backdrop on. Uh, thanks, just put it down a little bit. And as we are uh, putting this together, you'll notice that there's a little bit of echo. Well, we wanna take care of that with some acoustic panels in this space as well. That'll totally enhance our online audio. All right, Evan, let's go back to the other thing. Here at Sobel Church, we have a secondary auditorium that we lovingly refer to as the garage. It's a great space that's currently being used for kids ministry, for youth ministry. Our diamonds meet back there. A few small groups meet back in that space. And it's an awesome sort of medium-sized room that can host a variety of different things. And think of the community engagement possibilities and the meetings and the seminars that could be held back in that space as well. Well, currently we have a fairly okay AV system, but it's kind of just put together so that we can get through week to week. And what we would love to, what we vision for, what it's already wired to do, is to include a, a proper AV system for the space. We'd love to move the projector from the floor where it can be moved around and it's in the way for our cleaners up onto the ceiling so that it is up and out of the way. We'd love to move our sound uh, system, well, from what it is right now to something that's proper and we get some actual mounted speakers, some actual uh, movement of the sound booth back to the back so our sound tech can actually mix the room and we would just see the possibilities explode as to what that space can hold. So the second project that we have here is the garage AV setup. Our third project is to do with a project that's outside of the church actually. Roger Young, who is a member of the church and many of you will know him already already has taken on the leadership of Youth for Christ in Owen Sound and the awesome work that they're doing there. Uh, here's Roger right now to tell us a little bit more about it. Hi, I'm Roger Young. I'm here to appeal to you on behalf of the youth in Owen Sound and surrounding area. Many young people today are fighting a battle for their very lives, waging a war against loneliness, drug addiction and suicide. Also coming through the past two years of COVID, they're finding themselves in the midst of a mental health crisis, feeling socially isolated and lost. I would like to humbly remind you that most of the people sitting here today know that there is an answer to these problems. That answer is found in the person of Jesus Christ. He is the way to true hope and healing. Earlier this year, after going through a serious surgery myself, God reminded me that we need to make it most of the time He's given us. I had been involved in youth ministry for many years, and at that point, I felt the Lord telling me that He was doing a new thing, and He was calling me to be part of it. Coming soon, Youth for Christ plans to open a youth drop-in center, downtown Owen Sound, and that's where we are actually filming this today. Here, young people can find a safe place to come, reconnect, and learn about the love of Jesus Christ. Youth for Christ has hired me to be the Youth Center Director. You can consider me a homeland missionary. Earlier I said that our youth are waging a war. I believe that God has called me to raise up an army on the behalf of our youth, to go to battle for them and take back the territory that's been lost. Won't you join me? Please consider how you too can help. Thank you. So there's Roger, you can just see his heart coming out in that. Our third project is to boost him financially so that he can begin that work even now. He has to have a certain amount uh, raised before he can even start, and this would be a monumental help for him. Our fourth project is actually an event, a missional event for you watching this video right now to invite your people to come and enjoy. As we kick off Christmas at Sobel this year, we want to invite Bob Cates, who's an incredible entertainer. We'll show him a, a couple of things on the screen here. 
of him in action. We want to in invite your people to come and enjoy this evening with us, free of charge, uh, and it would be an awesome kickoff to our Christmas at Sobel. And then as we go through that month uh, leading up to our celebration of Christ's birth, what happens if your people meet Jesus in a brand new way this season? Well, it would all kick off with that event. And we want to make sure that you invite as many people as we can. And let's pack the house and have a great time. That would be our fourth project as we kick off Christmas at Sobel this year with this awesome missional event. So there it is, church, four projects that we want to take on as part of this special giving opportunity. We want you, though, right now to be praying through those opportunities and how God might be leading you to give and partner with us in what we feel like He is leading us to do. We're going to be taking this special giving offering. Let's remind you again that next Sunday, October the 9th, that's Thanksgiving Sunday, we're going to be taking up this offering, this special giving opportunity, and we'll be using those proceeds to go towards these four projects. So be praying, be thinking that through, and let's do that together. Let's partner together and make these things happen. Thanks so much.